Ladies and gentlemen, so a couple months ago, I made a video about what we're gonna do with our food plots this year, and I haven't touched on that subject in a while. But today, I came down and I mowed a little section. So a couple years ago, I shot a six point out of that stand right here, and I had a food plot here, but I didn't put one in last year because it was just too wet. I mowed this one down here today with the push mower, kind of funny, and I just kind of pulled it along like a hay bine, if you know what a hay bine is, kind of just pulled it along, and it mowed it pretty, pretty good, not terrible. So now my friend is coming down right now. He is coming down with his Cub Cadet and he has a little one bottom plow on it. We'll see how it turns out. Hopefully it turns out to be a really nice food plot this year and I'll shoot a deer out of it. Okay, so we tried to plow this. Since it's a garden tractor, it's really little. It doesn't have a lot of weight. And unfortunately, it wasn't really able to plow this because this is really wet stuff. Um, we got about three rows. He's gonna go up and get his other tractor and uh, hopefully it won't be doing this and stuff because I do wanna get this done. I wanna get it plowed. So the sooner I can get this plowed, the sooner I can let it dry. And the sooner I can get it dried, the sooner I can come down with the plow and get it planted and drag it out and everything. Time is of the essence. We got till mid-August or so to get these the seed in the ground. We're moving full bore right now. So guys, it's the next day. It's still so super, super hot out. It's been a day to let this stuff dry. So you can you can tell it's definitely dried out on top. Um, the sun's not out really quite yet, but it is drying out on top. So we do have some dry dirt to work with. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do quite yet. Um, I think I'm gonna let this sit for a couple more days maybe. I got a busy week ahead, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to it the rest of the week. But I'm thinking maybe this evening or whenever I can get to it, I'm gonna take the chisel plow through. It only has three shanks on right now. That way I have the least resistance going through some of these big mounds. I'm gonna maybe try to come through and just break some of the stuff up and continue to let it dry. Then come through in a couple days and try to smooth it out, take the drag hair over it, and we'll make a nice good seabed. 